Hello, SolidWorks fans all over the world. I'm Yuichi Hirose, a freelance mechanical engineer and researcher in Japan. And this is a machine I developed, Solid Knitting Machine. So it is a sort of 3D printer, but its prints are undoable and updatable. So firstly, I'll explain this knitting method itself, Solid Knitting, which is also my invention. So firstly, import a 3D data, then voxelize it, then slice it into which layers knitting pattern, then knit. Then just like 3D printing, by layering, you'll get a shape. So this is solid knitting. So you can knit human head, or sandals, not only upper parts, but also soles. And because with solid knitting, you can knit something dense and firm, like this. So for instance, you can knit a chair. And when you can knit a chair, you can undo the chair into its original strand, then re-knit it into a desk. So I call this undoing and updating of physical objects. So with solid knitting, you can treat physical objects as software. So you can update a desk through the internet, for, ex for example, and you will no longer have to bring your furniture when you move. Because you, what you have to do is just undoing ex residence furniture, then renew it into yours, like cloud computing. But when you need something by hand, you'll definitely hesitate to undo it, right? So I thought I had to develop a machine to automate it. And this is the machine. So this is how it works. So it looks very complicated, and it actually is. But what it does is layering each knitted sheet by knitting. And the width and depth of its prints are now unchangeable. So this, proto this prototype only can knit this kind of cuboid. But I keep working on it to enable it to knit any shape as I do by my hand. And this is the reason I, and this is the reason why I always use SolidWorks to improve this. So if you're interested, please follow me on YouTube or Twitter, SolidNet. And if you got any ideas for its application, please let me know through Twitter or YouTube messages or anything. And if you tweet something about this on Twitter, so please hashtag SolidNet, then I can find your tweets. And thank you to 3D Experience Lab for inviting me to present my invention here at 3D Experience World 2021. And thank you to everyone who is watching this. I hope to see you guys in person next time. Thank you.